What's going on guys? So I realized today on my way home from work that I hit 1,000 miles. I figured I'd do a quick little review. What I like about the uh, Yukon XLE T4 and what I don't like. And to be honest, there's not much that I don't like. Um, coming from a BMW M5, naturally, you know, the thing that I would not like was it's not as fast as the M5, but it's not intended to be as fast. So I, I'm definitely fine with it. You know, it's a nice relaxing drive. You just sit back and drive. It's such a cozy environment. So there are some of the things that I'm probably going to be uh, updating here relatively soon. The badges, you know. We're going to be going with the uh, all smoked out here. Maybe even doing a custom uh, design 3D printed LED feature for that. Those will be blacked out. The rims, I'm actually digging them. I like how they look. So those aren't going to be touched anytime soon. Come around to the front. Love those fog lights. That was one of the features that I liked the, uh, for the, uh, liking the Yukon over the uh, Suburban due to the fog lights, you know. I've always had them in all vehicles, um, and just enjoy it. That front emblem, that'll be blacked out. Grill, not sure what I'm going to do on that yet. It, there's nothing wrong with it, so it might just stay as is. What I do like, you know, with the key fob in hand, anytime you walk up to the vehicle, um, it, it, it turns on the interior lights, so, which is nice for security reasons. So we'll just go ahead and just run that. The fold-outs, love the fold-out mirrors. Got the, uh, I'm not sure who actually manufactures them, but these are similar to the uh, Amp Research running boards foldouts. That was definitely a must. Let's pop open the back. The piping on the seats, nice. Not necessarily a fan of this actual color because it kind of, you know, doesn't really go too well with the uh, redwood metallic, but. You know, maybe that's something I can look at, uh, you know, later on. Maybe getting this, in uh, these sections swapped out for like maybe a gray or something. Like I said, you know, not not a complaint by any means because it's a nice nice design. Um, but okay, I'll put the, the GMC on the back. Got 6.2 liter storage space. Perfect. Put those seats down. Fit anything you want in this thing. <laughs> it's such a nice ride. I'm, I'm definitely glad I went with this uh, vehicle. So as you guys see, it does not have the rear media, which actually is fine. Yeah, I'm actually fine. That was one of the items that I was trying to get on a build. Um, but due to all the issues that I see, and even as simple as, you know, folding down the um, seats here automatically, um, via the buttons, you know, some people are complaining that it actually hits hits on this. It's a two thousand dollar upgrade, I believe. Um, so with it being a glitchy system, as I've seen a lot of people complain about, and then the possibility of having the chair when you fold it down, hit it. Yeah, not not necessarily going to be a fan of that event occurring. Beautiful skies out tonight. Just do a quick little. Beautiful. Always beautiful here in Florida. So like I said, I've had it a thousand miles. I'm just a tick over a thousand, about a thousand fifty thereabouts. Already designed a uh, wireless charge for the armrest, rather than using the default down there, which you know I, I used to like to put my keys down there until I saw that little thing on there. So I designed that little guy. Um, you know, just something nice and simple out of the way. Throw my keys in there when I pop in there. Not sure about this yet. You know, right now I'm using it for my sunglasses and it closes and it fits and it's proper and all, but I don't know. Might end up doing something with that. Not really sure what. Here's the uh, mount that I did the uh, other video on with the uh, harness. Now everything's nice and hidden up top. Let's circle around to the other side. But it's just color, such lovely color when it's nice and clean and nice and sunny out. Nice welcome screen. Got to go into the uh, automatic vent the seats. So just over a uh, thousand. Right now, getting 
13.9 miles per gallon. Um, I do do a, dry, a lot of uh, city driving, so I'm not necessarily expecting to see outrageous numbers, but you know, those, those are proper. They're pretty nice, you know, it does have the 6.2, so you, you know, kind of want to get on it from time to time, but it's not for that, you know, it's just for sitting back, relaxing, cruising, in my opinion. You know, got the phone all synced in, Android Auto Play, no problems with it. Can't really think of anything, you know, problematic that, that I've come against uh, thus far. You know, it's just an overall a nice vehicle. So, leave a comment in the uh, section down below if you guys would like me to uh, specifically review anything. Short of that, I appreciate it. Anything you guys can do to help me grow this channel, I'm trying to make something of it. So, once again, appreciate your help, guys. Have a good evening. Peace.